Okay, uh, hi everyone. And the Wargaming Assistant has joined us in this film. Uh, so I haven't done a video about uh, with book recommendations in a while, so I thought today I would do a new one. And since I have many more subscribers since I did those earlier videos, um, I would, uh, it would be, I thought it would be good to do kind of an intro to Ottoman warfare from kind of the main, the main books. Um, they're the most important. Uh, so I'll do the military books first. Uh, you can see some of them there already, and then I will get into, and then later kind of more just the general narrative histories of the like mainly the, the classical so-called period of Ottoman history. All right, so the first book, if you read or buy nothing else from, from this video, um, this one, The Last Muslim Conquest by Gabor, by Gabor Agustin, is the most uh, important book. Uh, so this is both kind of a narrative history, um, but also incorporates a lot of thematic chapters, uh, as the narrative moves on, dealing with the different military institutions, um, this had this book it needed to be uh, published, written, and published. I think for a long time, um, but uh, we have uh, it was published in 20, 2021, I think. Um, yeah, twenty twenty one. So fairly recent, uh, and. I'll flip through the table of contents, but uh, like I said, it, it has kind of a narrative, chapters, and then it covers more of the, uh, and then it also covers the kind of uh, institutions and um, and things like that. Um, and uh, since uh, Gabor Agostan is a Hungarian scholar. He's able to read a lot of that literature, which is very important, but because um, of the language barrier, it doesn't always make it into the uh, English language publications. But as, like I said, you know, this is like also really useful just as a reference text because you can you can get most of the campaigns and stuff, and then you can just say, oh, okay, you know, I just want to read about. Um, uh, I don't know, uh, Cyprus and stuff, and then you can go to that chapter and read that chapter, and then, or maybe, you know, you just want to read about some of these institutional issues, you can just go to that chapter. Um, it really a book, you know, I, I think that I'll probably be rereading over and over for, for many years. Um, and it's quite long, as you can see, it's, uh, let's see, like 518 pages or so of, of actual text, so, and then also we have uh, pretty significant uh, bibliography and the notes uh, are also like, substantial and like I've said on videos on this channel before you always want to look at these this is extremely important when reading any history book um, so and it's also a nice read I mean I've, I've sat and read this in a couple days um, it's really nice has some good uh, illustrations in it uh, here and there. So, um, yeah, excellent book. Um, like I said, if, if you don't read any of the others, this is the main one you want to get. And this is published by Princeton University Press. Uh, it's, um, they usually charge like pretty normal prices for their books compared to other scholarly presses. Um, this one is, let's see if it has a price on it. Uh, it doesn't have a price on it, but um, they they have sales on their website periodically. In fact, uh, they had a sale uh, in February for Valentine's Day, and they marked this one down. And I would think I was able to get it for like uh, it was like eight dollars or something crazy like that. But anyway, and also um, this may be a minor point, but the bindings on these books are also really good. Um, so, you know, yeah, it's a, it might be a little pricey, but, you know, it is a, just as an object, it's, it's also quite high quality, as are most of the Princeton um, books. Uh, I, and I, I, got a, I also got a biography of Maria Teresa published by them uh, that I've been reading, and, and that's also got a nice binding. Um, so, yeah, fantastic book. Okay, um, the next one 
Um, I think I'll go kind of in a rough order. So if you want to read a book, um, like if you want to read something after this one to get the rest, most of the rest of the story, uh, you want to read um, this one, um, Ottoman Wars 1700-1870 by Virginia Oxon, uh, and an empire besieged. And um, this one covers, obviously, the later period um, and, you know, takes the story to the later, um, yeah, to the later centuries of the empire. Uh, a lot of good stuff in here about, you know, about, like, it's kind of like Agostan's book, uh, although not as, um, uh, not as long, uh, but it has chapters about the the wars, it kind of from a narrative and a narrative style, and then it also deals with institutions. Um, I, I read part of this uh, on a recent video talking about Janissaries, like in the 18th century. Um, and also, uh, this is the first edition, I think, published in, let me see, published in, yeah, 2007. And this is the, uh, so this is the second edition in 2013. And then there's a newer edition published 2021 uh, that, that runs up to uh, like the end of the empire, basically in 1923. Um, so uh, you can find that, um, you know, on Amazon or, or what have you. Um, but this edition is, is good too. Um, I, I have read, actually Professor Oxon uploaded uh, the book onto her academia.edu page. And I was reading it uh, in PDF, and um, this it kind of just depends on where you want the emphasis to be, because the newer edition in 2021 um, it is more focused on the institutional stuff, I think. Um, but um, it's it's kind of a kind of a different book, you know, in a way. But anyway, uh, if you just want more of the military stuff, this is uh, the book you want to find. Um, now this is a Routledge book and they do charge a lot. And as you can see, the, uh, binding and the quality is not as nice. Um, uh, but part of that is because I, this, this book did get wet when I was moving. So, um, but still very important. So if you want to read the, the I, I would, you know, if you want to like go in order, I would read Augustine's book and then read Professor, uh, Oxon's book and, and then, um, you know, you can kind of get a, a overview of the whole picture. Okay, the next book. Um, so those those are the, the two main ones, I would say. Um, now, the next books I would are kind of secondary titles, but still, I think, really useful. Uh, this is uh, Professor Agostan's uh, first book, Guns for the Sultan, and this deals with the Ottoman uh, weapons industry, which may sound dry to some people, but... Um, there's a lot of really interesting stuff about the different artillery and the different firearms and, and also there's some good chapters in there discussing, sometimes we don't know what the terminology is actually meant. That's just kind of been, um, you know, lost to us, uh, you know, what, what they meant in the documents that is, uh, but this book was important and I mean, still is important because a lot of the, uh, understanding of Ottoman, uh, military, um, equipment and weapons. It came from travel logs from Europeans, uh, which can be pretty useful sources, but, you know, that's not going to give you, um, uh, okay, I'll, I'll put it like this. It would be like trying to get an idea of American weapons in the Cold War based on, like, some incidental obser observations of, like, what a civilian saw on, like, an American military base. Kind of like that, um, but this book um, is really detailed. It's not one you may, might want to sit and like read the whole thing, but um, it's really good as a reference, um, and um, and it does have some pictures in it. Let me see. Yeah, it does have some some pretty good uh, pictures in it. The, the footnotes are extremely detailed. Um, and uh, it gives pretty precise um, information and, and data on a lot of the on a lot of the weapons and gunpowder production uh, in in the empire. So um, yeah, uh, pretty good. Um, 
All right, and then the next book, um, this one I think to be, in my opinion, it's it could still be worth reading, uh, but I think Agostin has kind of superseded this because he takes a lot of the same data but or information, um, but also you know puts it into like the narrative, which and I think the narrative is is always important, especially in military history. Um, a lot of this is based on. Uh, so this is by Rhodes Murphy. Uh, a lot of this is based on uh, his dissertation, which was about the Ottoman army in the period of Murad the fourth. So it would be like kind of the mid 17th century. Um, but it's, it's more just like kind of a general, uh, book about institutions for the most part. It doesn't get into any details about campaigns or, or sort of, um, that anything like that, uh, yeah, this is the table of contents. I, I think it could still be worth reading uh, again, but more as a reference. I think Agostan and and Oxon, you know, are, are more interesting to like sit and read. Um, this one kind of gives some is is gives some broad outlines um, of of Ottoman military institutions uh, and stuff like that. But um, you know, uh, it, it's okay. It, it's an okay book, uh, but. You know, for a long time, this was kind of the main reference um, and the main book in the field. So um, worth worth checking out, but not, I wouldn't say it's, at this point, I wouldn't say it's kind of indispensable. Uh, now, it is it is shorter, so if that appeals to you, um, that might be good. But um, yeah, uh, could still be worth checking out, I would say. Uh, okay. All right, now these are going to be, the next books are going to be more like general political history. Uh, so first one is Ottoman Empire, the Classical Age by Halil Adaljik. Um He was kind of the major, he was a major figure in bringing Ottoman studies to the United States. He taught at uh, the University of Chicago for many, many years. Uh, he died in in 2016, um, I think, and um, yeah, this is more just like a narrative history. Uh, it's written pretty um, approachably, I would say. Um, he, uh, yeah, I, I think it's a fine book, um, and uh, this one's been in print for a while, so I think you can find it used fairly cheap, but um, and kind of like the other books I've mentioned, it, it goes over kind of both narrative history, but also discusses some of the, the more thematic stuff, like the economy and institutions. Um, it's, it's quite short, uh, and, it's, and it's a pretty easy read. Uh, so, um, yeah, uh, nothing, uh, I think uh, you'd be pretty well served if you read this. Um, and then uh, the next book... Um, this is, uh, this I would say could be, is a little more advanced. Um, so this is the third volume of a famous cycle of books, uh, by a scholar named Marshall Hodgson. He died in the early 1970s prematurely. And then his, uh, th this was based on base. He was a professor of um, Islamic history at University of Chicago, and he, he the book was like kind of his lecture notes that he did for like a three, it was like a three quarter introduction to Islamic history. Uh, he was actually the one that coined the idea of the gunpowder empires. Um, I don't really like that terminology, but that's just my opinion. Um, but he does cover the the main gunpowder the so-called gunpowder empires, the Ottomans, the Safavids, and the Mughals. Uh, this is also the shortest of the three volumes. Um, he can be kind of a dense writer at times. Um, you know, um, I, I read this uh, a couple of years ago when I got into Islamic history. I think if you want to do go a little bit beyond... I would check, I would recommend, you know, reading all three volumes to get kind of the, an idea of the trajectory uh, of Islamic history. Um, so, uh, yeah, um, just kind of another book to read. Uh, it covers, 
up to, it goes from, uh, yeah, here we go. It, uh, yeah, it covers, uh, it's kind of truncated, I think. Uh, I don't know if I would still appreciate this kind of uh, organization if I reread it, but at any rate, um, it gives, uh, I think, a good overview if you want to just get a get into it. And then, you know, like the other books, if you just read a chapter here and there, it can be worthwhile. So, okay. And the last book, um, which uh, I only read, like, this year... Uh, uh, Osman's Dream, uh, History of the Ottoman Empire. I had never read this. Uh, I had read uh, Caroline Finkel's other books that were more kind of specialist literature. Uh, but this is based, this is a narrative history of um, the empire from the beginning to the end. Um, and uh, it was really good. Uh, it was a nice read. Um, I learned a lot from it. Um, and and it's it's quite long, you know, so... Keep that in mind, but I, I think you'll you'll enjoy it. Um, the bibliography is extremely detailed, and um, you know it can't cover everything, obviously. So there's certain things that are that are omitted. But um, I, I think the strength of this book is it 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 does a good job of giving kind of the the, the zeitgeist of the empire in different periods, and you know explains like the major personalities and leaders. So. Um, yeah, I, I, I really liked it. Um, I, I kind of put it off for a while because I was worried it wasn't going to be that good, and I was totally wrong. Um, it was fantastic. So, um, and this one has been in print, and it's in paperback, uh, published by, by Basic Books, so it's not that expensive to find this. Um, you know, if you want to read this for, like, military stuff, uh, she doesn't cover, like, every single war in great depth, and... She has to kind of skip over certain ones, so, you know, just keep that in mind. But just as a narrative history going over kind of politics and warfare and, and also culture, uh, that's important, too. Um, this is really good, so. All right, so uh, those are the books uh, I, uh, I wanted to get out today, so I'll show them one last time if you need to... Uh, you want to check them out. Um, uh, like I said, uh, I would say just in closing, uh, I think if you just want military stuff and, you know, st stuff that will help, you know, kind of books that will help with directly with war gaming, uh, I would say these three are the most important. And then these other ones are kind of extra, um, you know, might give some interesting details, that sort of thing. Um, yeah, so... Uh, that's, I hope you guys liked that and found it uh, interesting. And uh, and like I said, so this and then just to reiterate, this one has a newer edition published, I think, in 2021 or 2022 uh, that um, goes up to uh, the First World War and the Turkish War of Independence, I think. Um, so and and uh, there was a talk uh that uh, the author, uh, Virginia Oxon, gave to on YouTube to the Anglo-Turkish Society. And um, you can find that on, uh, on, uh, on my community tab. I shared it. Or if you just look up uh, on YouTube, Virginia Oxon, Anglo-Turkish Society, you can find it uh, that way as well. Okay. Uh, all right. Uh, well, like I said, I hope you guys found this one interesting. Um, and uh, I, I might try to do more book videos. Um, I, I, I did have an idea, uh, to do something, uh, completely different, a topic we've never discussed on the channel, but I, I did, uh, take a course on a few years ago that was the, uh, Great East Asian War at the end of the 16th century, and I have all these books for it, and, um, I thought I might share that, because that's, that's also very interesting, um, also related to kind of the, the period that we cover here on the channel, so... Anyway, okay, well, I'll uh, wrap up the video, and um, I'll uh, talk to you guys in the next one.